Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Clearview Ice Arena for today's CHMA Division I hockey matchup between the West Virginia University Mountaineers and your Robert Morris University Colonials. Alongside me today, Mr. Nick Peltz. Nick, welcome aboard. Caden, thank you for having me here tonight. What an honor and a pleasure it is to be here tonight to watch this great matchup. Two hardworking teams here. Very excited to see this one go away. It's going to be a fun one. Last night, the Colonials traveled to Kent State, Ohio, to take on the Golden Flashes. Lost that one by a score of 4-1. to one. And it should be a redemption here match, Nick, as the last time two, these two teams played in Morgantown, West Virginia comes out with a 2-1 to one overtime victory. Yeah, it seems like the Colonials here are going to want to definitely get back at them for that, especially a little bit coming hungry from last night with that loss. So should probably see a pretty chippy one here. Hopefully a lot of goals here, a lot of great crowd here tonight. Can't wait to see this one get underway. If I'm also not mistaken here, Nick, that we uh, it will be John Tucci's birthday on Monday. It is true. So um, we might have a little pregame celebration birthday for him. I don't know what Mr. Austin McLean down here is is doing. He told us before the broadcast, so we might get that as long before the game. Well, the American flags are out, so you know what that means. He's here. He is here, and he's made his presence known, and he's very special to us. So yeah, a very happy birthday to him. Also, shout out to uh, Alex Ganyan and Lance Axon for our new little uh, our score thing up on the top left corner. So our faces will now be joining you throughout the play, which is going to be very fun. Awesome, yeah. That'll be the first time good. as West Virginia has now hit the ice to begin their last few stretches before game action begins. Led by their netminder, number 29, Kyle Fotopoulos. A Greek name, as you mentioned before here, uh, Nick. 4-3 and three record, a 314 goals against average, and a 919 save percentage the net minder out of Pickering, Ontario. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a very good save percentage here. Um, the players of Robert Morris are definitely going to be tested here, uh, but we'll see how much they show up tonight. Colonials take the way to the ice now. Tonight started for Robert Morris, the Fort Wayne, Indiana, Indiana native, Mr. Parker Rutherford, 6-2, a 238 2 goals against average, a 949 save percentage which puts him tied for 14th and wins across the ACHA, second in goals against average alone in the CHMA, in first in save percentage with a minimum of six games played. That's impressive to say the least. It's, I mean... His presence yeah. is known. The, you, you have a 9.49 save percentage with the amount of saves that he has had, especially if we go back to that Liberty game, 62 or 63 saves in that game alone. Insane. It's like an NHL hockey game. It is. It is. For a senior season, I don't think you could draw up any better. Maybe the two losses turn into wins. But other than that, the stats, I mean, if you're any team that's looking at a net minder, you look no further than number one in white. For sure. For sure. And then we also want to focus on the captain, the leader of the squad, the man from Gibsonia, the captain number nine, Justin Adamski. 18 goals, 11 assists, 29 points. Puts him first, or at least tied for first, excuse me, in goals across the ACHA. And his goals have come in all areas. Three game winning goals, four shorthanded, and six power play. So you know he's dangerous in all aspects of the game. His game, his playmaking ability is just unmatched. And let's meet the Mountaineers. Justin Hickey on defense, 28 in blue. Michael Trico. Jake Kaczynski forward, the man out of Alaska. Dan Falzer, number 90. At Ford, out of Kofu, New York. And Moreau as well are on forward. And Kyle Fotopoulos in net. And now let's move our way to the right side of the screen. And let's meet our West, or excuse me, our Robert Morris University Colonials. Dr. Michael Joseph on the bench, leading the squad. <laughs> Tyler Draper slots back into the lineup for his first home action in quite some time. Good to see him back out there. Noah Nicholas getting the start, the sophomore defenseman. Zach Love on forward, 22, a freshman forward. Connor Moran with the beautiful hair, 18 and white, freshman. It's a nice flow. Beautiful flow. And the center, 26, Gregory Pipes Kramer. <laughs> 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 and 
And then the legend of Parker Rutherford makes his way out to the middle area here for the opening draw. And Austin McLean's getting us ready now for everyone's favorite time. It's Tucci time. It is Tucci time. So we will send it down to him, and we'll be back after the national anthem. The beautiful rendition of the national anthem, John Tucci. Who else would you want to do it? The birthday boy. <laughs> well, his birthday's on Monday, but uh, we're still going to celebrate here today. Very happy birthday to him. Both teams getting set here. As Greg Kramer, Counter Moran, and Zach Love offensively. Noah Nicholas, Tyler Draper on defense, and Rutherford in the crease. Making their way in. It looks like it'll be, it'll be Kramer's draw. The cousin of Roman Kramer. Kramer works his way in, here we go. West Virginia wins the first draw. Sent in by Trico. Weird bounce off the Ooh. wall. Stick lifted, working into the Mountaineers. Shot and an easy save there for Rutherford. He says, yeah, not today, sir quickly into this one. Yeah, Rutherford quickly making up for a, a weird bounce there that, you know, typically you wouldn't want to have in front of your net. It's a draw as quickly Coach Joseph putting out the top unit of Adamski, Kramer, and Mickey. Palombo out of the lineup once again as we hope to see him back in very, very soon. Draper around the wall to Nicholas. Move it forward to Roman Kramer. Kramer to Mickey in the middle. Mickey poking it in. Stuck away by the netminder for West Virginia. 
Mickey gets taken down. Adamski in to help. Adamski lifts the stick, moves it around, gives it to Mickey. Back to Kramer to the point. Nicholas can't keep it in. Nicholas has to get back. Down comes number five in blue, Kosinski. Diving to the ground goes Draper. Prevents a shot attempt. Great defense. Through the middle, picked off by Adamski, and they move forward. Adamski to Kramer, streaking in. Kramer over to Adamski. And there scores. we go. Justin Adamski, his 19th of the season, puts home one early for the Colonials. And just like that, it's a 1-0 lead. And all of a sudden, Mr. Adamski sits alone at the top of the leaderboards across the whole ACHA in goals. You can turn on London Bridge. Q, London Bridge. Adamski and Kramer. Name a better duo. You can't. I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't know what the message was for Coach Joseph's men here, but they got on the board quickly and fast. Adamski from Kramer. Hit hard into the wall is Garrett Walker. One of the freshmen kept alive off a skate. Now picked off by Keith Reed. Reed dangles around one and chases after. Reed fires it off the stick into the netting. Out of play, it'll go. And a quick, quick goal here for Army. That first goal is always really important to get. It sets the tone and keeps the energy levels where you want them. Let's see if they can keep the foot on the gas. Reed, the left-handed centerman. Mickey also getting an assist on that as well. Reed in on a draw, can't win it over. Walker tries to fight for it. Reed comes in to help, stepping up as Hodgson to keep it alive. Along the wall, Hodgson still battling for it. Out comes the Mountaineers. 98 Molesky moving forward with it. Molesky tries to go through Logis. Logis, and then Ooh. Hodgson throws a big body into the wall. West Virginia players shaken up. In the feet of Hodgson. Goes West Virginia's way, dangling in off a couple of skates. Good job from the Colonials, and Walker moves it forward to Reed. Reed into the zone, back to Apood. To Reed. Puck still down in the corner. West Virginia moving it along now, off the wall, past the Colonial defenses. Macrocostas is now going to move forward. Hard along the wall, around it goes, RMU changing. Smith fires it towards the net, padded away. Mountaineers looking for a breakout. Getting a couple of fresh bodies in the process. Bouncing off between defenders of the Mountaineers. Along the wall, Nicholas couldn't keep it alive. Big hit thrown. Tyler Kovac finishing his check. Macrocostas. Along the wall, up to Smith. Moves it forward to skate. All the way down, Mountaineers looking to get through once more. All the way down towards center and stopped by Rutherford. A nice, easy stop to get the fresh units on the ice here, Nick. Yeah, it seems like the Mountaineers, uh, that, that first goal hasn't really affected them too much when it comes to their speed and forecheck. Um, looks like they're just going to be looking past that one and just going to be trying to see if they can make it a 1-1 game. The faceoff will be to the right of Rutherford. It's a Damski's unit back on again. Matt Puck takes a weird bounce through Kramer. Tries to play it out. It does. It bounces through Western Spence. Adamski hard on the pressure. Mickey in to help. Trying to carry it up with Finnegan. Kramer reinforcing. Finnegan trying to fire it out. Fans on the attempt. Now the other way. On a three-on-one come the Mountaineers. Passing it through. Good stick from Finnegan. Back check it. Kramer across to Adamski off his skate. Adamski pressuring hard. Gets the stick for the Mountaineers. Move forward. Through the middle, picked up by Stouffer. Shot saved by Rutherford. Finnegan throws his body in the wall. Mickey also finishing his check. RMU not afraid to use their body early in this game. Back to the point, Cherko. Looking, throws it towards the middle. Kramer, Greg that is standing there, but the Colonials were off sides as the other Kramer, Roman, had to touch up. Moving forward is Murphy, number 50 in blue. Shot at 10, hits off the post. Trying to poke it away. Greg Kramer corrals it. Shovels it along the wall. West Virginia defense holding, looking. Has a man through the center, but also there was Tyler Draper. Draper shakes off the hit. Moran to chase. Moran crashes into the wall. Now West Virginia tries to move forward again. Through the middle, off the stick. Trevor Kohlberg to Moran. 
Moran pokes it free in against Cherko. Moran bodying. Kohlberg pinning against the wall. Works his way out to Logis. But West Virginia was there as well as they move forward. Trying to get the changes on both sides. Stretch pass to Cherko. Kohlberg finishing his check as both teams continue the reinforcement changes. Hodgson up to Moran. Chipping it and we will get the change quickly so Pood can get on. As the Colonials had six, they have six on the ice. Oh boy, that was close. The referee did not catch it, but they had six for a solid yeah, 10 seconds. Solid 10 seconds at least. That puck's gonna go all the way down. Hodgson in a foot race. We'll get there first, but no icing. Hodgson moves it forward to Apood, and he'll begin the breakout forward. Apood into the zone, dances around one. We'll go get that puck. Apood looking. Stripped away from the puck, moving it forward now along the wall. Macrocostas keeps it alive. Shot and a glove save by Fotopoulos. Great shot. That's what I want to see more out of George. Yeah. He's an absolute ripper of a shot. Shout out to Finnegan, though, on that three-on-one back check. If he, came, he, he gave up the puck and then came back and on that back check and disrupted that play from becoming a possible goal. We talked about that before the game here, Nick. The back is, check is big. Yeah. Is the 6'2 big body of Andrew Finnegan. Yes. Is a body you do not want to get hit with. Reinforcements come on. It'll be a Damski squad. As the referee is going to skate over to the West Virginia bench. Not in, I'm guessing he's going to ask about the uh, too many men and why it wasn't called. Is my assumption here. That's a good guess. It's a Damski. Kramer lined up right behind them. Damski wins it back to Nicholas. Squirts free. Nicholas keeps it alive. Mickey going to chase it down. Pokes it forward to Roman Kramer. Kramer circling. Has Mickey in the middle. Backhand attempt. Sails Ooh. wide. Mickey back to Nicholas. Firing it. Sticked away. Roman Kramer down to Adamski. Hit from behind. West Virginia now gets the puck. Moves it towards the middle. Gloved away from Isaac Jones. And he'll carry forward. Jones dances around Nicholas, but Nicholas right there to shake off his man. Through the middle, the puck will work all the way out past the blue line, and Walters for the defense of the Mountaineers will reset. All the way down, will it be an icing? Yes, it will. As all the way back down will go in front of Fotopoulos. Good energy here by both teams, for sure. Colonials, uh, we can tell, though, are pretty goal hungry. They are. After last night, only getting one, they're ready. They looked ready from the get-go. It's Adamski's draw. Adamski tries to win it back to Kramer. Finnegan couldn't keep it alive. Draper, with pressure, pokes it forward to Roman Kramer. Kramer, cross pass to Mickey. Mickey chips it along the wall with two Mountaineers draped all over him. Kramer leaves it for Mickey. Back and forth they go. Through the middle, tried to go for Adamski. Good stick tie up by the Mountaineers. Finnegan throws it wide. Tried to go for Kramer's stick. That's going to go past all members on the ice and will be an icing. I like the breakout attempt there, but I think just a little bit too high on the outlet pass. Yeah, just missed that. 13.48 to go in period 1-1-0 one, one off a Justin Adamski goal in the opening minute of this game, assisted by Roman Kramer and Nate Mickey. Adamski taking his good old time into the draw, getting his teammates a fresh breath here. One draw by Western shot, hits off of Kramer and sails wide. Mickey along the wall, through bodies, Kramer. Here we, here we go. Kramer walking in, throws it towards the net, and a nice save from Fotopoulos there. Apood tries to go over to Kramer. West Virginia will pick up the loose puck and move forward. It's Halcraft. Fires a shot, save by Rutherford. Behind the net, Draper pinning his man against the wall. Halcroft battling for it. Throws it back to the point. Shot blocked by Keith Reed. Apood looking to get it out. He gets it to Reed. Reed through the blue line, gets it forward to Garrett Walker. Stepping, looking, shot off of sticks and into the netting. A good look for this second line, but couldn't quite capitalize. Yeah, very close to getting a goal there. Kramer coming up on that. Seem, seemed like maybe a miscommunication by West Virginia. Reed's unit's going to stay on. It'll be Walker on the draw. Right-handed from the right circle. Walker tries to win it forward. Mountaineers take down Walker. He's holding something, and he's down. 
Apud can't enter the zone. Walker struggling to get back to the bench. He left his stick. And you show how much in pain 27 and white is as he quickly gets off the ice. West Virginia now moving forward with it through the middle off a Pood stick, picked up now by Stelfer as he enters. Against Hodgson, Hodgson's stick helps prevent that opportunity. Stelfer fighting for it with Reed. Colonials couldn't get it out. Now Reed collects, moves it to a Pood through his skates, and the Colonials now will hold in their defensive zone as West Virginia changes up. Hodgson to Byrne. Byrne. Lost it for a second. Mountaineers move forward now. Marco throws it around the wall. Hodgson for the Colonials picks it up, moves it over to Logis. Logis tying up. Hodgson leaves it over for Byrne. He escapes and moves forward. Good block from the Mountaineers. Logis still fighting for it. Mountaineers collect once more, looking for somewhere to go. Marco. Tried to go through low, just laying down and making a nice play was seven and white. Byrne picks off the pass. Throws it along the wall, skating forward is Kovac. He's going to beat out the icing. Kovac looking as the stick that was dropped by Walker does not do the RMU players' favor on that attempt. All the way down it goes past Macrocastus and be Icicle. Nice yeah. yep. As we hope Garrett Walker is okay as his stick is... Still uh, out there towards the faceoff dot. When, when I was looking at it, it seemed like one of the West Virginia players' stick was somehow in his abdomen area, and maybe some pushing or pulling got involved there, and he got hit the wrong way. So it, it looked like it was that way as uh, he immediately kind of grabbed the uh, mid-stomach area yeah. off the draw. And that will hunch you over a little bit. As Mickey wins it, forward Ooh. shot saved by Fotopoulos. Nicholas to Mickey. Through the middle, Adamski tries to keep it alive. Mickey trying to help as well. RMU does collect, but at middle territory. Blocked by Kramer. He's going to throw it in. Fatopoulos going to hold and leave off for the defenders. RMU er, trying to get this puck back. West Virginia circling, gets through, and will enter the zone. Shot blocked by Macrocostas. Kramer lets that puck go through. Picked up by Mickey. Colonials on the attack again. Mickey. Goes wide to Adamski. Throws it down to Mickey once more. Over to Kramer now. Kramer back to Finnegan at the point. Throws it down low for a trailing Mickey. Around the net. Tries to wrap Ooh. around. Good stick from the Mountaineers. West Virginia now the other way. Macrocost is trying to hold. 2-1-1 on one momentarily. Macrocost is back. Gets the body down and takes away the puck. Shot throw down off the skate. Shot attempt stopped by Rutherford. Now back to the point again. Thrown forward. Down low, intercepted pass. As RMU trying to work their way up the wall. West Virginia holding strong. Jones. Back door to Molesky. Back to Jones. To the point. Shot through traffic, padded away. Jones still fighting for it. Gives it over to 28 and blue. Around the wall, Finnegan. Throws it forward past bodies. All the way down it will go and it'll be a Colonial Ice. We preach in hockey, stick on stick, body on body, and that's exactly what we're seeing out of both teams here defensively. It's a big defensive battle. As Rutherford's gonna take a quick moment to himself here. Has a couple of good shot opportunities against them here, but Rutherford's standing tall as always. The 5'10", 195 man out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hooks that one free to Finnegan. Along the wall. Shot by Walters, blocked away by Macrocostas. Another chance, Finnegan holding. Tries to play it up to Love. Finnegan recorrows, gives it over to Moran to tap it in. All the way down it goes. West Virginia just pokes it into the zone. Greg Kramer with pressure on him, skates around the net, fires it to Love. Love, Finnegan, Kramer into help. Kramer gets buried wow. from behind, that's going to get called. Yeah, that As was definitely from yeah. behind. I think that might have got him maybe in the nameplate area as Greg Kramer a little shaken up, but does get to his feet. But the guilty party of Tyler Hocraft is uh, going to take a seat. So the Colonials power play is going to get things rolling here. And as we talked about before here, uh, Nick, six power play goals from Adamski, five from Roman Kramer. 
one from uh, Alejandro Pood, one from Garrett Walker. It's a little bit of spread in the wealth, if you uh, I do say, say so myself, along with one with Nate Mickey. Yeah, the power play is super important to capitalize on, and let's see what they can do here. Adamski down to Walker, back to Adamski. Finds Kramer along the wall, sending it down low to Mickey. Mickey looking. Throws it to Kramer as they cross. Kramer throws it down to Mickey. Through the middle, stepping up is Kramer, but West Virginia pokes it free. Adamski leaves it off for Mickey, and Mickey will move it forward. Mickey through the middle, skates around one. Gets through two, gives it over to Walker. Walker down low to Mickey. Mickey looking. Through the middle, has Walker right there. Shot saved by Fotopoulos. What a pass. It's a beautiful read. RMU looks to reset. Adamski through the middle, sends it down to Mickey once more. Mickey crossing with Kramer. Kramer, shot, loose in front. Another chance and saved by Fotopoulos. Walker again, throws it down low to Mickey in front. Had Draper. Adamski shots blocked. Kramer does keep it alive, sends it down low to Mickey behind the net. Mickey stepped on by the West Virginia defense, and no clear. 48 seconds to go on the penalty to Halcraft. Getting a couple of fresh bodies on. Adamski will wait and gives it off to Keith Reed. Moving forward along the wall, Reed with speed. Reed looking, circling, waiting for the bodies to come on. All five are new and fresh. Cam Smith leaves it down low to Apud. Cam Smith to the point to Logis. Logis shot through traffic. Draper with a good screen, but Fotopoulos makes the stop. Power play looks good, Caden. It does. They haven't capitalized quite yet, but you got to give credit to 29 and blue Fotopoulos here for standing, standing pretty tall here. Yes, for sure. Uh, the biggest thing I'm seeing here out of the Colonials is that when the puck is on the strong side, that weak side winger is moving into the middle, giving them that center option, and that's given them so far two really big scoring chances. RMU wins the faceoff. Kovac down low, leaves it for Apud. Apud back to Kovac. Kovac goes back to the point to Smith, quickly back to Kovac. Walking in, gives it to Apud. Five seconds on the penalty. Smith, through traffic, blocked away. Low just got to get back. Two men are on. Rutherford will leave it off for Logis as RMU will get changes along with West Virginia as the penalty kill for the Mountaineers will win this one. Apud taking it up. Getting dragged behind by two Mountaineers. Only player in the offensive zone now make it three as West Virginia looks to break out. Through the middle, man sitting right there, trying to dangle through Macro Costas. Good stick takes him away with a chance shot and scored. Right over the glove of Rutherford. West Virginia comes right back off of a penalty kill. And that was a nice little shot there to get this thing evened up. I think the big thing to look at there was that pass. I mean, that was coming from their goal line and straight to the RMU blue line and got through all the way. That was uh, Jacob Kusinski, number five in blue, his fifth of the year to tie this one up. So Jake Kosinski credited with that one. And with 6.42 to go, after what was a strong power play and a strong showing, a killer of a goal against. Jones works it forward. Finnegan steps up. Hits him. Draper throws it forward to Mickey. Kept alive by the defense of the Mountaineers. Hits off a skated Draper. Mountaineers pick it up. Stuck away by Kramer. He'll move forward, gives it to Adamski. Adamski walking in, firing, save for Fotopoulos there. Kramer gets shaken with the hit. Mickey backtracking, fires through traffic. Kramer on the redeflection. Mountaineers poke it away. Finnegan steps up and keeps it alive. Six minutes to go. West Virginia, another clearing attempt. This time they do get it through past Draper as Draper and a West Virginia man are tied up. Oh, that's a penalty. Yeah, that's an obvious play. Is that one? They're just going to walk it and score. There was no defensive help at all there. It's, they just walked in and put it home. That was a nice goal, though, from Ashton and Adamick to put that one in. A defensive collapse. Couldn't say it better myself there. No shame there to, Ruth to Rutherford. The, there was not much you really could have done. I, I'm not sure the Colonials thought there was going to be a whistle off the bat or what. 
and Finnegan is still going to go to the box. Wow. As Hodgson is saying, wait a minute, why is he in the box? If we, if they had a delayed penalty and scored. I wonder what the call is. Huh. That is that's quite confusing. Nick. And now after the Mountaineers score, the Colonials are on the penalty kill. Clock starts a mm, couple seconds late. But uh, West Virginia not complaining. Moving forward to the Mountaineers power play. First time we'll get to see him here today. Molesky. So the penalty for two for tripping stands after the delayed penalty goal. I'm as confused as you are. Yeah. Well, we'll try to figure that one out for <laughs> whatever reason. I don't know, though. Turco. Through the middle off sticks. Nice play from Logis. Plays it away momentarily. A minute 25 to go on the penalty to Finnegan. Two for tripping. Cross pass. Sails wide. Reed pokes it free. He gets a hold of it. Here he goes. Keep Reed firing. Shot. Glove save by Fatopoulos. New hold. Ashton Adamic. That's a great Adamic. defensive awareness with that poke check. Getting that up the ice. So Adamic is, uh, will be an unassisted goal on that one. Okay. His first of the season. I'm st still really confused on uh, yeah. why this is a, you know, delayed penalty and they still score. I, I'm not sure. Me neither. <coughs> but an offensive zone draw for Adamski and Kramer. And speaking of shorthanded goals, hey, four goals for Adamski shorthanded and one for Kramer. Those those shorthanded goals taste a little bit better. Just a little bit. Just juicier. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> As if there's two guys that you should be afraid of for your power play, and you usually think that, oh, they're going to put their def best defensive guys in the RMU says, yeah, we did. <laughs> and they just still put up these ridiculous numbers. And look at this. Here comes Adamski walking in. Drop past the Kramer. Shot oh, over the glove of Fatopoulos. Oh, baby. Inches. What did I just from say? From that post. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You called it. Is they're going to look again. You know they're looking. Macrocostis fires it through the middle. Off a weird board bounce. West Virginia now moves forward. Chance shot sails wide of Rutherford's leg. Jones pinned against the wall, but the puck will work all the way back to center ice. Watson throws it over. Has Koshinski over to Jones. Jones fires through the middle. Poked away from Macrocosta. Shot attempt. Pass along to the circle. Through bodies blocked away. Shot attempt again, saved by Rutherford as that one will go into the netting. Two seconds left on the penalty, 350 to play. But a solid penalty kill showing from 9 and 15 in white. PK showing strong here uh, with two seconds left here on the supposed of tripping penalty. Yes. <laughs> Called on Finnegan, but looks like he's going to be coming out of the box here and the PK unit's going to be coming away without giving up a goal. I know he's a defenseman and all here, Nick, but uh, you think they might drop a little play to set him free? I mean, you'd, you'd, you'd have to. So Damski gets it. To look at Makarakost is set up here. He is ready to fire this puck out if it's one. To Kramer. Here Finnegan, it is. There it is. Finnegan set free. This will chase it down off the wall. Makarakostis throws it forward. Macrocostis throws it back in again. Moving forward now are the Mountaineers. Kovac fighting for it. Bodied off by Byrne. Byrne standing tall, fighting for that puck. Kovac keeps alive. He gets hit from behind. Puck still on the blue line now. It makes its way out. Moving forward now. Draper dangling through. West Virginia pushes it forward. Byrne has to chase it down. Byrne has, doesn't have the biggest of stature by any means, but for the 5A215, man, he is a solid, solid player. He can definitely move those feet. I'm sorry, 5'6", 135. Still very solid, man. Yeah, you can give him the height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know, you like when I exaggerate a little bit, Mr. Byrne. <laughs> Thrown forward off West Virginia. They enter the zone. Draper collides with Walker awkwardly. Good to see Walker back on the ice. Through the middle, Walker lifts the stick. Draper picks it up, has a man behind him, moves it forward. It's Alejandro Apood. Apood through the middle, over. Backhand attempt, still loose shot attempt from Smith. Sails wide. 
Apood throws it down, gets hit in the process. West Virginia moves forward. Apood lost his stick but kicks it forward into the zone. Apood tried to get a stick. We had hit off of one of the West Virginia players. I believe so. There's some juicy rebounds being left here in front of uh, West Virginia's goalie. There has been, and I know it's one thing that the Colonials did want to focus on is that they said that their goaltender does give a lot of good rebounds up, and they need to finish on those if they yeah. want to win this game. Uh, they're sitting right in front of the net there, and they got defensemen there in front to get that out of the way, but there's just some juicy rebounds being left in front of them. So it looks like this draw will be kept outside the zone. Uh, West RMU pulling the old uh, five on four tactic here. And uh, never mind, here comes uh, Macrocostas. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas will throw it down. Kramer fires that off sticks into the netting and we'll get a whistle. But fortunate play off of that is now we'll have an offensive zone drop. As they'll elect to go to the right of Fotopoulos. Strong side for Adamski on the draw. Adamski back to Nicholas through traffic off stick sails wide. That puck had eyes. I, it definitely did. As you don't see a puck trickle through like that very often. Moving forward now is Jones into the zone. As he gets hit Big hard into hit. the wall. Noah Nicholas. My goodness. Behind the net thrown forward to Jones. Kramer almost had a hit attempt there. Nicholas chasing between the two forwards. Trying to wrap around is Molesky. Molesky dancing forward, off bodies, goes through the crease, but no attempt from the Mountaineers in front. Shot from the top of the circle through traffic, blocked by Macrocostas. Moves it forward to Mickey. Mickey dancing, gets the line and shovels it down. As Reed's chasing, he's going to try to get the goalie to make a mistake here. Mickey will pick up that mistake. Oh, crashing towards the net, that was close. Moving forward along the wall, Walker has steps in. Mickey ties the man up, they'll go around the wall. Macro Costas steps up and keeps it alive. As now it trickles free, Reed breaking forward. Reed looking for somewhere to go. He has Apood through the middle, shot Ooh. blocker it away. Apood trying to keep it alive. Macro Costas stepping in, kept alive with a shot by Reed. Macro Costas back to Reed, fired, blocker it away. Along the boards, Logis almost kept alive. Macrocosta stick gets the puck back momentarily. Now moving forward is Kosinski through the middle. Oh, close that, play. That was wide open. Macrocosta pokes it into the zone. Walker's going to chase it down. Ten seconds to go. Patopoulos plays it along the wall. Apu trying to put pressure on. Five seconds now. Walker with the hit. Three seconds, two and one as bodies collide. And that'll do it for period one. That was a fun period. <laughs> yeah, uh, Colonials coming on top uh, really quickly, and then the Mountaineers getting up 2-1. But it doesn't feel like the momentum has really like gone to one or the other side, but just good to see a big defensive battle here probably. It has been very defensive, to say the least. As the hits have been flying, I mean, guys like Greg Kramer and George Macrocostas, the, the usual suspects <laughs> throwing the, the big hits. The usual goons. Yes. No, I wouldn't <laughs> say goons. They, they haven't really taken a penalty, except unless yeah. you want to call uh, Finnegan's a, um, a dirty play, but it was, it was a trip. <laughs> We're still going to try to figure out what happened. In the uh, yeah, I know. But, Nick, your opening thoughts here from period one? Um, big plays here by the Colonials and the Mountaineers, but I feel like the Colonials, something that they have right now is the speed. Um, if they keep the speed up, I feel like getting they've been able to get around their defensemen pretty easily, and if they get the, that puck to the middle of the net with those rebounds, I think they can capitalize here in the second period. So just kind of to recap before we go to intermission here, Justin Damski opened things up with a goal, a goal assisted by Kramer and Mickey, his 19th of the season. West Virginia came right back with goals from Jacob Kosinski and Ashton Adamek. So that'll do it for us here for period number one. We're going to step aside for about 13 minutes, and we'll be back for what should be an exciting period number two. Stay tuned. We are back for period number two of the Mountaineers and Colonials here at Clearview Ice Arena. Alongside me, Nick Peltz, I'm Caden McCrory. And Nick, 
after a very solid start here from the Colonials, making it one nothing within the opening minute. West Virginia goes two unanswered, and just like that, it's a two to one hockey game. Yeah, a little bit of a defensive collapse at the end of the period for the Colonials, leaving a, a sweet puck right in front of the net. That was a that was an easy goal for the Mountaineers and. I'm pretty sure that Coach Joseph is probably not going to be happy with that one, and uh, a big defensive change is probably going to be here in the second period. You'd expect so. Jacob Koshinski getting the scoring start for the Mountaineers, his fifth of the season. Ashton Adamek with the pretty much empty net goal for his first. But the opposing side, the first line has looked really strong. Adamski and Kramer and Mickey all capitalizing on the first one. Adamski's 19th of the season puts him first among ACHA Hockey Division One players. And, I mean, it's going to run through that line. You know, that, that line doesn't really not run on all cylinders. Their their chemistry is extremely remarkable, and they've shown it there with that first goal. As both teams now hitting the ice for Coach Joseph here. Also on the bench, goaltending coach, Mr. Christian Pellegrino, former Colonial Netminder. We love Pelly. Pelly is Shout a, out to Pelly. a big fan favorite, <laughs> as always, along with Mr. James Joyce. Both coaches. The Upper St. Clair native. Really? Joyce. I did not know that. Yeah. James Joyce running things on the bench, and of course, Mr. Pellegrino, who does not get to go on away games very much. He did get to go to the Liberty game, though, and he said, I got a special off from work to go for uh, that game. Yeah, all of them all, all of them that I've talked to said that their locker rooms and their whole facilities there at Liberty were just out of this world. Phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Hopefully uh, ESPN Plus can pick up our broadcast. That'd be nice. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Uh, that would be a great touch. I mean, we're much better than Liberty, guys. I mean, they couldn't uh, different, differentiate between Mickey and Mackie. So uh, yeah. I think we have them in that category at least. <laughs> West Virginia is going to win the draw to get things going here. It'll be the Adamski, Kramer, and Mickey line to get things started. RMU looking to get out of their zone quickly here. Mickey moving along the wall, moves it forward to Adamski. Mickey now picking it up and moving along, shoveling it into the wall. Kramer lets it bounce over his stick off a, a weird play there. As well, maybe a little dent in the ice when a little bit of mis misfortune for Armiel. Mickey, Kramer picking it up, dancing through, gets hit along the wall. Mickey's in to help. Kramer attempting to get that puck back. West Virginia's defense is shaken off and moves forward. Hodgson stepped up. Two on one the other way, but Mickey is back. Sliding across, chance in front, save by Rutherford. That's a great save. Pinning against the wall is Mickey. West Virginia moving it down low. Going to get it as Logis up to Mickey. Mickey working on the breakout, chips it in. As the, him and Adamski will bo both try to get a change. Mickey says, I had the line. Referee says, no, you didn't. And all the way down will go. It's all the way back down. Hodgson and Logis also still trapped on the ice. The only man that did get off was uh, Roman Kramer, to my understanding here, as Keith Reed was able to jump on. Typically, when that happens, we just hope the referee didn't see we got off. Uh, I think Kramer got off in time. I think he did. Yes. But luckily for RMU here, two centers for a defensive zone draw as Rutherford with a nice snatch of the glove. And now RMU can change. Rutherford not shaken whatsoever as his goals against and safe plans, as we talked about in the opener, some of the best among the ACHA. Yeah, I mean, just like on that shot right there, he's square to the puck and cuts down the angle really nice. So that shot hits off bodies, takes a weird redeflection. Another shot attempt patted away by Rutherford. Back to the point. Shot sails wide. Reed going to get it, has a pood. Tried to get through, stuck away by the Mountaineer defense as they dance in. Backhand shot sails wide. That was Bull Duke on the attempt. Reed, Macriocasis. Our West Virginia picks up, shoveling, saved by Rutherford. Apood through the middle all the way down. It'll roll past the topless Reed. Was no down icing. there, no ice. Wow. Walker plays it down to Reed. Reed shakes it off Walker to Apood in front. Stick lifted. That's a penalty. And that'll be called. Yeah. What do you think, a hook? I think a hold maybe. Hook, uh, hold. Hook. Hook. You know, hook. I know it was one of the two. Yeah. So the private tour of the Dilly Dilly is going to be served here. Pit of misery, Dilly Dilly. As Mountaineer will sit for two. When I was looking at a pood there, the puck was right in front of him, and he's trying to get his stick on the ice, and it's not getting on the ice, so that's going to be a hook. 
as a Mountaineer guilty, shaking his head, making his way up. It looks like Hans Watson, number nine, is the guilty party. Two, four, hook it. Walker, tied up, stick was up high. Mickey in to help. Mickey picks it up, wrapping it around, look it, goes to the point to Kramer. Kramer dancing in, through the feet, chance, poked away. Adamski looking, has Walker. Walker tried to go through the middle, taken by West Virginia. Walker fights for it, Adamski helps out and keeps it alive. Adamski down low to Walker. Tried to go to Mickey off the back of the net. Puck still bouncing around. Down goes a Mountaineer. He used his glove to try to move it along. Walker looking to the point. Adamski fakes the shot. Walker dancing in on the backhand. Waiting, waiting. Tries to go to Kramer. Adamski gets over, takes a weird bounce towards the middle of the ice, and he will go skate it down. That one puck in the middle was just on the doorstep. Rutherford tried to play it forward. Molesky coming in, shot, patted away. Throwing it wide, Mickey picks it up and they work forward. Mickey into the zone, shot off sticks into the netting it goes. We'll get a stop to a 52 to go on the penalty. Power play still looking strong. The second unit will step on. It'll be Reed, Kovac, Apud, Logis, and Smith. Smith just got his first goal this season. Last home game, and it couldn't come at a better time to say the least as it broke the tie against IUP. Smith couldn't keep that one in. Almost a little bit of a commentator's jinx there for Cam Smith. Sorry about that, Mr. Smith. Reed back checking. Works his way down, circling. 38 seconds ago on the penalty. Moves it forward, skating it down. Kovac attempt wow. patted away by Mythopolis. And all the way down it goes. Rutherford will hold for Spence, and he'll move it forward for the trailing Smith. You can call that an RMU bounce. A lucky bounce. Reed, forward to Apood. Apood working towards the benches, fires it in. Kovac skating it down. Western Union fires, kept alive by Smith, looking, firing, shot towards the middle, looking for a rebound. Saved by Fotopoulos. Kovac gets dragged down to the ice. As the referee breaks things up, Kovac was trying to get out of there. West Virginia was having none of that. It's going to be one of those nights. Yep. The physicality continues to ramp its way forward here, Mr. Peltz. If you are in the blue crease after the whistle blows, you're going to get moved. Yep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of your game? Yeah. I mean, you got to crash the net. Bubs tells us that all the time. <laughs> Usually I get a hand in the face. That's always the fun one. <laughs> As that puck sent all the way around, kept alive by Nicholas. Throws it towards the net, weird bounce. Moran gets it. Poked free, Macrocostas there to take the damage and move it forward. Kohlberg fighting for it. He tries to get that puck, works his way out to Greg Kramer. Sends it down. Kohlberg tried to go for the trailing Moran. Macrocostas shot, blocked. Trying to move it forward to the Mountaineers. Down goes a body, Moran shot through traffic, tipped away by his own teammate in Colbert. Colbert to the point, shot, sails over the glove. Greg Kramer, once again trying to move it down. Macro Costas keeps it alive, stick there was Colbert, couldn't deflect it towards the crease. Up and over, Nicholas still fighting for it, West Virginia regains it and here they come. Marco spinning, shot, saved by the rebound loose and put home. West Virginia picks up the loose rebound in front and makes it 3-2-1. Ashton Adamick, his second of the game, I believe, or it might have been Hans Watson. I was questioning the spin o -rama, but it ended up leaving a, a good rebound in front. That was a juicy rebound in front there. The three to one to score. Rutherford not happy with that one. There's not much he could have done again there. But West Virginia strikes here early in period two. The 15-16 mark. Adamski's unit back on, and Coach Joseph looking for some sort of offense. Hodgson steps up, tries to lay the hit. Draper, with traffic around him, tries to move it around. Hodgson holding, using his skates, pushing along. Forward to Mickey. Puck skyrocket. Sorry, Hans Watson with the goal as Marceau 
with his second assist of the game. Mickey chips it in. Katopoulos plays it over his defense. Moving it around the wall, stepping up his Draper, keeps it alive. Draper still fighting for it. Kramer there to back him up. He pushes it forward, Adamski goes to pick it up. Adamski tried to go in front, no one home. Kramer with a nice hit there, pushing his man to the wall. Goes over to Mickey, fires and blocked. It's a great block. Draper taken down hard was Adamski. There's gonna be a penalty yep. here. As Adamski got dragged down to the ice, it'll be a cross check against the Mountaineers. You can't hit him if they don't have the puck. Mm -hmm. As Vince Grada will take a seat. Two for cross checking, and the Adamski unit will get another crack at the power play. So far, 0 for 2 tonight. Third time the charm? I think so. I hope so. I hope so. West Virginia asking about a call, especially the current situation here with the cross check. Two, Grada, out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Mickey tries to win it forward to Walker. Walker plays it back, stepping up as Adamski. Top of the circle, looking. Adamski to Walker, using his skate, keeps it alive. Walker dancing in. Walker circling, heavy pressure against him, goes wide through the middle and all the way down it will go. Nice play from Jake Molesky to clear the traffic. Some great skating and stick handling by Walker. Keep that puck alive. Adamski moving it forward to Walker. Back pass to Kramer. Kramer enters the zone, works his way in, dances through. Walker tries to pick it up. Mickey, down low to Walker. Fans on the pass attempt, still fighting for it. Walker gets taken down, Draper in to help. Mickey, tying it up. Down low to Walker. Walker on his backhand to Kramer, shot safe. Poking it forward. Kramer still keeping the pressure on. West Virginia still trying to get it out. Nice hit from Draper. As bodies collide along the wall, works its way out to Walker. Tried to go to the trailing man of Mickey. Adamski backs up, tries to move it forward. Mickey on the back check. It's almost a two on one shot and scored over the shoulder. Jake Molesky makes it four to one. Yeah, not a smart pass there. Um, definitely a contested pass there that just got up the ice for an easy shot, uncontested. His eighth of the season is 98 in blue, Jake Molesky. And there, that was a beautiful shot. And Mickey just couldn't get back to get the shot taken away. and Not much he really could have done. Yeah, uh, the past, what is it now, three goals here have been just blatant, mis careless mistakes. Nothing what? on Rutherford that he could do. RMU's defense talking on the bench, trying to figure out this West Virginia power attack. Rutherford leaves it off for Logis as they'll look to move forward with it. It'll be Reed. Reed, hard up, dances his way in. Reed has a pooch, shot, glove safe, still loose, puck bouncing around. Where is it? And out it goes. Rutherford leaves it off for Logis. Playing it over to Adamski. Now Reed. Reed moving forward. Drops it off to Smith. Forward to Logis. Off his stick. West Virginia sends it back in. Skating it down is Henry. Kovac plays it forward to Smith. Even strength. Smith uses the net to his advantage, but picked up by the Mountaineers and Marco. Kovac with a man dragging on him. Gets the line. Gets taken down. Apu trying to fight for it. Smith in to help. Smith fires it in off a of body. Western's defense moving with it now. Apu chasing with heavy pressure as they play catch. And eventually will send this one down off sticks, no icing. Rutherford plays it over to Macrocostas. Forward to Moran. Kohlberg fighting for it. Out there comes Kramer. Greg Kramer streaking in. To Moran on the backhand pad save by Fotopoulos. Now the other way comes Marco, leading the rush for West Virginia against Hodgson. Hodgson using his stick, pushing him around through the middle, shot and save by Rutherford. West Virginia, RMU, 
It's kind of looks stuck in their defensive zone. Yeah, they, they got to stay disciplined here. Um, they got to stay out of the box, keep getting pucks on that. Just keep it simple. Keep the fundamentals on. It'll be a Damski's squad out here. Defensive zone draw. Wins it back. Shot attempt. It's off the post. Fighting for it. Hodgson moving it forward. Has a Damski, and he'll lead the rush through center ice. A Damski tried to walk. It's tangled up into the boards. Kramer with a nice hit. Mickey stepping in. Kramer picks it up, dancing through. Off bodies almost to a Damski. Hodgson keeps it alive, moves it to Mickey down low. Western's defense pokes it off of him. Off sticks, Macro Casas couldn't keep it alive. And it's a three on two. Cross pass, nice play by Hodgson to get down and prevent that puck from going over. As a big hit is thrown along the wall, Macro Casas, the usual suspect on that hit. Macro Costa still fighting for it with Kramer. Mickey tries to poke it free, West Virginia. Now moving forward along. It's Walters, shot off traffic. Mickey picking it up. Mickey to Adamski, dancing in. Gets through one, draw pass to Mickey. Fire score. Wow. Nathan Mickey, his ninth of the season. An absolute snipe from the dot, four to two. I mean, what a snipe, but that pass. How do you Whew. get that there under that pressure? That's Only insane. Justin Adamski, right? Yeah, I know. That's to, to, to fight through that and get that pass there and then to finish that off, that's got to feel good. Hopefully they can take this momentum now and tie up the game. Hugh London Bridge. Justin Adamski and Mickey connect on that goal. Mickey's ninth of the season as the top unit continues to provide the offense for this Colonials. Rutherford out of his crease will hold an I extra time. hash marks. Yeah. Rutherford not afraid. He says my puck. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey officially announced on the goal. Adamski on the assist, as expected. And that's it for assists there on that one. Nicholas plays it along to Kovac. Kovac fires it forward to Byrne. Dancing through a Smith, gives it off to Byrne, and into the zone we go. Byrne to Smith. Good stick from the Mountaineers. Smith down low to burn once more. West Virginia as a nice hit from Smith, That's but they're gonna, be gonna a penalty. yeah, I think they're gonna call him with a knee. Straper sets up and he collides big when I hit there, but it'll be off to the box for Cam Smith. As he's wondering why, but the referee I guess saw a little bit of knee on knee action. Yeah, and he's calling a trip. Yeah. So he'll take a seat for two, but a good look from that third line. I, I think it's, it's just one of those penalties where he's not trying to trip him. He's, he's going for the puck, and his leg just so happened to be there and hit his leg. And I mean, as a referee, you can't ignore that. Yeah. It'll be Walker and Reed as Walker makes the centerman win it back hard in West Virginia into their own zone and has to reset their power play. Off of sticks. It's Falzer. Balls are to the point to Watson. Watson fakes the shot. Goes over. Shot attempt blocked by Logis. It was Marco on the attempt. Marco now regains it. Goes over. It's Kosinski back to Watson. Watson shot through traffic. Loose in front. Bouncing around. West Virginia picks it up. Rutherford resets. Jones. Marco playing check. Okay. Marco back to Watson. Watson, down low to Marco again. Marco shot blocked by Logis. Watson again picks it up to Marco along the circle. Back to Watson. Over to Kosinski. Back to Watson once more. Kosinski dancing around Hodgson. Kosinski back door. Jones. Back to the point. Watson dancing the line. To Jones, top of the right circle, tries to dance around Reed. 45 seconds to go on the penalty. To Smith in front, off sticks. Walker helping out there. Shot attempt from the point through traffic, off sticks again. Kept in play. Along the point, Watson gets a stick on it. And what do we have here? Um, net was off towards. Okay. Yeah, I was confused. BK showing strong here. 
And according to chat, the Penguins won two to nothing. There you go. Goal. Yeah, back-to-back right. -back wins for the Penguins. There we now. go. Much needed win. Very much so. Thank you to my pap in chat for providing that with us. Under my name, if anyone's confused. <laughs> <laughs> so the let's see here is Mountaineers. Twenty-five seconds ago on the penalty. Moving down with it is Haben to the point. Through traffic, Haben collects shots blocked by Logis. Walker shoveling it forward to Reed. Reed stancing with it. Gets around one stood up on the line by Chirico. RMU does get changes. Logis still stuck on the ice, but the other three did get off in time. Even strength. Dancing in. Shot attempt hits off the post. Puck bouncing around. Roman Kramer. Man down low is Mickey. Stepping in. Mickey shot and scores wow. on the breakaway. Nate Mickey, his second of the game. Tenth of the season right off the penalty kill. It's four to three. Uh, that's just beautiful. <laughs> we love to see that. You couldn't draw that up any better. I don't mean to take the spotlight off Mickey, but I think on that penalty kill, you said blocked by low just like four or five oh, times. Yes. He is a brick wall down there. I mean, blocking those shots like that, I mean, what a valuable defenseman to have. Blake Logis, absolute puck eater. Puck magnet. <laughs> he will not afraid to take a puck anywhere to save his team from preventing a goal. And look what happens. We get a goal. But good goal by Mickey, by the way. Absolute beautiful <laughs> goal. <laughs> Shot in front of Zadebski, hits off a body, taken down, we'll get a whistle. Kramer, as expected on the primary assist on the goal. No other assist on that one. 2-1 answered for the Colonials. Yes, much, much needed goals. Momentum shift? Oh, I think so. And there's still seven minutes to go in the second period. We still have another period to play after this. You gotta stay disciplined here. Oh yes, avoid the penalty box trips. Mickey. Sticks it down. Riding the wave of momentum, looking for his hat trick. Kept alive by Draper. Draper coming into the zone, plays it down low. Adamski moves it to Mickey in the slot. Mickey firing, shot through traffic, blocked away. Mickey is once to use that shot as Adamski with a huge hit into the boards. Ouch. <laughs> that is a big ouch. <laughs> Adamski with another hit into the boards. He gets cross-checked. West Virginia now picks it up and moves forward. Adamski was looking for a change. Now pulling back off of that. Aaron Pass goes wide. Adamski with the stick lift. Nicholas in to help. Kramer tries to poke it along the wall. Moving forward, Kramer pokes it up and carries to Nate Mickey. Mickey to Kramer, trailing in. Just past his stick, but still has possession. Moving forward to Adamski as he goes crashing into the net. And we will get a stoppage. I almost jumped out of my seat. <laughs> if they would have <laughs> scored a goal like that, my goodness. I mean, the chemistry is just electric. I mean, it's 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 actually, like, unmatched. There's, I, I don't know how they do it. I mean, they just know where they are going to be at all moments. They don't even have to look. They, Kramer just knew that Adamski was crashing the crease, and he put it perfectly, and just Adamski couldn't stay on his feet. But, like I said, imagine if, you know, he wasn't draped by the defender and stayed on his feet there. I mean... That would have been a highlight real goal. I, even though the Mountaineers have the lead right now, they're on their heels. They are. What RMU is pushing and pushing, and they're not going to go down without a flight. Because that puck's going to sail all the way around Macrocross in a foot race. Will win that one. No icing. Pushes it to Love. Through the middle. A nice hit from That's Walker. going to be a penalty for tripping. Wow. That's a, it's just like the last penalty. He, he clipped his foot, and the referee can't ignore that one. Yep. Trip. So Garrett Walker will take a seat too for tripping. As Macro Costas yet again, stirring the pot like he always does. Not afraid to and do a little bit of hash and slashing. It's part of the game. Oh, empty net again, 10-3-0. Of course. The Happy to see the Penguins on top. Good in, the good and the bad. <laughs> So back on the penalty kill are the Colonials. It'll be Moran, it'll be Smith, it'll be Macrocostas with Buddy in front. Shot attempt through traffic blocked away, and of course, Logis and Macrocostas yet again saying, get out of my crease. That's his crease. Well, it's Parker's crease. <laughs> well, yeah. George is just one of the protectors. They're net. 
is what do we got here? Are we going four on four? The door's open. No, uh, it's close. No. Now it's close. Crease violation. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Did you know that? Thanks, was Austin. Thing? Okay. Thank you, Austin. It's a shot blocker to lay Rutherford. See how quick he jumps up when he gets down? Rutherford is just yeah. so it's like a cat. He is. It's literally cat like reflexes. Chirico down low. Shot through traffic. Goes wide. Sticks flying. Smith tried to get there down low. Trying to go for the cross pass. Couldn't quite get there. Playing catch with it now. Back to the point. It's Chirico. Macro Costas is going to send it down. Moran will hold the pressure. Smith's going to get off. So at least Kramer can get on. Moran might want to look for a change here. He's playing the bodies. Moran does get a change. Adamski hops on. Kramer with a good stick. Offsides on the Mountaineers. So the defense can change now, which is a great sign as Logis, who has been, as we said, just taking puck after puck after puck. The defensive all-star this game. He really has been. Yeah. I do like that pairing of him and Macro Costas. Two big boys. Two big boys not afraid to get down and dirty. Oh, yeah. Adamski tried to win it forward and move it along. Draper will pick it up now and send it down. 53 seconds to go on the penalty to Walker, two for tripping. Down low, West Virginia looking to break out. Along the wall has Kosinski. Plays it back. Kosinski regains. Kramer slides and takes down a Mountaineer. Kosinski into the zone. Tries to dance around Draper. Kosinski looking. Does hold up now. Goes down low to the trailing man and Jones. Kosinski. Back to the point. Fired shot. Blocked away by Kramer. Kramer stick lifted by Jones. He's still fighting for it. And it's get thrown down into the corner. Draper finishes his check. Kramer goes to collect. And sends it all the way down. Out of the net comes Fotopoulos. Adamski trying to read that play and try to push it forward. He's still chasing it down, holds it down there for a second, two seconds, and one, and we are back to even strength. Walker comes out. Reed tried to kick it forward to himself. That would have been a great chance. Macro Costas to Draper. Caught in a skate. He does regain it, though. Along the wall, poked forward by Adamski. Reed going to chase it down. He'll win the battle. Reed tried to push it along, lost it in the process. Now the Mountaineers move forward. Through the middle, gloved down by Macro Cost. This big hit along the wall from Keith Reed. Walker. And Reed down to fight for it. Reed throws it back to the point. Hodgson stepping up, throws it through traffic, hits Walker in the process. Apood. Shelving it down as Walker. He's back to the, the bench. bench. Yep. On comes Byrne. Stepping up, Macro Costas couldn't keep it alive, but numbers are back for the Mountaineers. Behind the net, Macro Costas finishing his check as always. Spinning around, through bodies, burn, gets tied up, no call there. Big body burn, not afraid to throw his weight around. From the point, shot and saved by Rutherford, sliding over. This Rob Burn, as we mentioned, 5-6. And he looks like he plays like he's 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he's not afraid to get down dirty for sure. He's fast. He's gritty. You always need a guy like that. He's like a Brandon It's Canada. a must, yeah. <laughs> Him and Cam Smith both play. I think Kovac as well. This whole line is looking at three Brandon Tanex, I think. <laughs> I know all three are looking to get the goal production going now, but off the puck, they are some of the best to do it. Nicholas pokes it forward all the way down. Fotopoulos will play it off to the defense. Kovac chasing. Smith steps up. Throws it towards the net. Off body. Smith still fighting for it. And it goes through Nicholas. Trying to go for the cross pass. Nicholas back. Falls down. As the ice taking bodies left and right here. Smith picks it up in the defensive zone. Throws it along the wall. Kept alive. Walking down. Shot through traffic, sails over the head of Rutherford. A long ball picked up by Murphy. Back to the point. Shot, falling and blocking the play with the Colonials. Stick lifted, burn without a stick. Penalty coming up. 
I believe it'll be against West Virginia as Rob Byrne. It's a slash. Yep. Rob Byrne drawing the penalty as Big Body Byrne is not a man you want to mess with. Tyler Hocraft, I believe, is the guilty party for the second time tonight. Yep. And it will be him. 0 for 3 so far as the Colonial power play. And if there's a time they need to score, it's, it's now. now. <laughs> Damski talking with the referee. You can sniff a goal here. What, I, what I'm looking at here, Nick, is 15 on the point. Yeah. I li they like to draw this play up, and they put Draper in front of the net for a screen, and you want 9 and 15 to shoot that puck. They're looking for that puck to come straight back and then right on the net. Mickey wins it forward. Fighting for it is Walker. Out with it comes Mickey. Along the wall, he goes in awkwardly. All the way down the boards it goes. Adamski will chase. West Virginia gets one fresh skater on off the clearing attempt. Adamski leaves it off for Kramer, and he'll begin the forward progress. Kramer into the zone with speed. Kramer dancing, looking. As the net comes, what do we got here? And that's off. That's off? That's what I figured. Kramer not happy with that. But the draw will stay in the offensive zone as that net is way off. As we've seen problems with that net before. Especially against the IUP. Oh, yes. Yeah. That net was a huge bother. Yeah. So the net is fixed. RMU wants it on the left side. The other referee sets up on the right side, and it will be on the right side. Walker on the draw. Ties it up. Bodies in front. Mickey goes down. Walker chance sails towards the boards. Back to the point to Adamski. Down low to Walker. Walker dancing. Has Mickey behind the net. Mickey over to Kramer. Stuck away by the Mountaineers. Picking up now is Mickey. To Adamski on the point. Over to Walker along the circle. Shot through traffic. Couldn't get to Mickey. Down low to Kramer. Back to the point to Mickey. Leaves it off to Adamski a minute to go. Mickey through the slot. Firing. Rebound by Walker. Wow. Saved. Another chance in front. Puck still bouncing around. Adamski at the point. Fakes the shot. Goes to Kramer. Fires. past the net. It goes. Draper. Bodying. Mickey and Walker to pick it up. Walker gets it over. He gets hard hit. Adamski keeps it alive. Off a skate. Moving forward. Adamski keeps it alive yet again. Down low to Mickey. Mickey to Kramer shot, bouncing through, still loose. Another chance, chopping at the puck. Walker fires, still loose, and it's in. I think it's, it's a in. goal. That's it's a goal. In. Yeah, that's a goal. Wow. How did that go in? His bodies get pushed. Bodies in the net. People are shoving. I don't know what just happened. Draper's involved. Kramer's down on the ice. Someone's in Fotopolis' crease. Adamski's arguing with the referee. My goodness, did the referee signal to goal? The puck was in the blue crease off the rebound, and they all kept trying to get at it, and it eventually ended up in the net, and then somebody got pushed into the net, and the Mountaineers didn't like that too much. So Kramer is going to head to the box. No goal. No goal. Wow. Wow. What? What? The puck ended up in the net, and the call on the yeah. ice was a good goal. But that Kramer was quickly drawn back, but though. Kramer goes to the box, and they're calling no goal. As uh, Coach Joseph with his signal to the referees, usually when he goes down on the corner of the benches there and uh, immediately pulls the net or the referees over. So the netminder for Topless is reset. His, his equipment was a little loose. It's going to be four on four for 27 seconds, and then the Mountaineers will go on the power play for about a minute and a half. It will be... Four on four, most likely here. It'll be four on four when we start period number three. Yeah. As Hodgson carries it, looks forward, has Smith just past his stick all the way down, and it'll be an icing. So close. 
13.9 to go. As the puck will come all the way back down. Smith, Moran, Hodgson, and Logis for the Colonials. It'll be Smith's draw. Smith fighting for it. West Virginia trying to get one more chance. Ten seconds to go. Hodgson bodies his man. Logis as well. Puck tied up in the corner. Back to the point. Through traffic. Moran tries to push it forward. It goes to Smith. Two seconds and one. And that'll do it. A wild second period. Nate Mickey puts home two. West Virginia puts up a goal off of uh, Jake Molesky. A no goal call in front of the net, which could have been Mickey's hat trick. There is a lot that happened here. This game was tied up for a moment. <laughs> unofficially. And now it's not. <laughs> it was unofficially tied yeah. up. As both teams will make their way to the dressing rooms, it'll be four seconds of four on four action to start. And then after that, a minute 33, minute 34 ish of time for the power play of West Virginia. So as we begin period number three momentarily, what is your thoughts overall on this? Amazing second period. I mean, it's just like we said throughout the whole game so far. I mean, it's just been really defensive. I mean, I think the better defensive team is going to come out with the win here. Um, we talked about that kind of defensive collapse for the Colonials that happened, but I think it's kind of switched sides for West Virginia. I mean, those two goals um, by Adamski just, just kind of proved that, and they still got them on their heels even though the, or excuse me, the Mountaineers are going to be on the power play. We're going to see the PK come out here and see what kind of momentum switch can happen. Hopefully a, a tie game here for the Colonials. Penalty kill has been perfect thus far. Yes. Which is a huge plus here for the Colonials. We're going to step aside for about 12, 13 minutes. We'll be back for what should be an exciting third period between West Virginia and RMU. Stay tuned. We are back for period number three between the Mountaineers and the Colonials. And Nick, four to three is the score. We're yeah. gonna start this baby up at four on four. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I mean, that PK is gonna be out there again. I mean, we all know who I'm looking at. Number seven, Lodges, I mean, He's in front of the net. I'm going to be looking for him to make some more plays here. Um, Colonial's going to have to dig themselves out of uh, this penalty kill and then hopefully pull one in the net to make it even again. So let's see if they could do that. Last period, shots on goal. We'll start with the first period, actually. 15 and 9 in favor of the Colonials. The second period, though, is favoring West Virginia 12 to 18, or 18 to 12 by mistake. So an even 27 27 yeah. between the two squads at shots, which shows you how close. This game actually is. Yeah, I mean, both both teams have a lot of talent, um, but I'm, I'm still keeping in mind on that uh, defensive game that we've been talking about the past two periods. I mean, um, this period we got to really pay attention to those turnovers, those blind passes, um, those mistakes. It's, I, it seems like to me that whenever the defense pinches in too far, that's when they get their offensive chances really a lot, especially those odd man rushes. It's happened a couple times, and it's cost the Colonies a couple times. Yeah. But part of some of these defensemen's game is to, you know, get into the play. But in some cases, it turns out to be costly. And I did get clarification of why the goal was disallowed. Okay. Um, so the puck off the shot of Walker goes in. It's covered by the netminder Fotopoulos. Kramer poked it, but poked the goalie into the net. And that was why the goal was waved off. Yeah, that'll make it no goal. And the call of the, the point was not a goal signal. It was the point to Kramer to take him off the ice. For a penalty, yes. yeah. What did they say? Was it a trip? Um, I believe so. I think it was a trip. I think a trip. I don't know. Regardless, he put but yeah. the goalie <laughs> into the net. Yeah. And can't do that. Yep, can't do that. And that's why he's in the box. So four seconds of four on four. Walker wins it into the zone. And we are on to five on four for the next minute 33. It is Halcraft out of the box quickly to the bench, and he will get a fresh Mountaineer on. Reed trying to get the screen away from the netminder. West Virginia now attempts to move forward. The defense playing catch, Reed holding the line. Good stick there to prevent the breakout, but West Virginia does still enter the zone. West Virginia at the circle, looking, drop pass. 
Skating down with it, looking for somewhere to go. He's going to go up high to the point. Jerico down the fired shot, sails wide of Rutherford. Walker chasing down, picked up by Haven. Back to Haven at the circle, to the point to Jerico. Jerico shot through traffic and close of Rutherford. Hodgson playing the body. Rutherford says, no, sir, out of my crease you go. Reed with an extra whack. As Reed not very happy. How, how about the goalie getting involved? I, I saw Rutherford there. Uh Hit that Mountaineer out of the way. I like that. Rutherford is one that does not like when you get close into his crease. Rightfully so. Yes. As stepping into the draw is Smith's penalty kill unit. Smith wins it forward to Moran. Moran does clear it all the way down. It goes. Moran pressuring. The top was holding and giving it off to the defense. Moran almost picked it off. Now getting back, and West Virginia moving forward. It's Grotta leading the rush. Grotta hit hard by Macrocostas. To the point kept alive by the Mountaineers. Stick goes flying at Moran, picked up and sent out by Tyler Draper. West Virginia gets a couple of changes. Topless holds it off, and West Virginia holds 13 seconds to go until Kramer is sent free. Poked in by the Mountaineers. Rutherford out of his crease, plays it harder on the wall. Four seconds till Kramer's out. Macrocostas levels his man against the boards. Macrocostas leaves it forward. Kramer out of the box, picks it up and moves forward. Kramer looking, throws it forward to Smith just past his stick. Kramer picks it up again, works his way around the net. Leaves it off for Smith, shoveling it towards the net. Kramer tried to lift the stick. Mountaineers head the other way. Sending it through. Nicholas trying to handle the pass. Pinning his man against the wall, fighting for the puck. Mountaineers take it out. Shoved along by Logis. Moving it forward, Kramer dances around the defenseman, and here he comes. Kramer keeps it alive. Adamski tried to drop for Mickey. Does pick it up, turn and shoot, and couldn't get the shot off. Tried to go for the trailing man, and Jones all the way down, beating out the icing. Mickey throws it behind the net. Logis trying to get there. Adamski reads the pass, collects, and swaps with Kramer. Kramer fires it along the wall, goes to get the change. Mickey will chase it down. Mickey bodied against the wall. Adamski in to help. Through bodies, Mickey in front, off the post. Adamski dropping. Reed to Mickey. Ooh. Fake the between the legs. Throws it towards the middle. Adamski shot off sticks into the netting out of play. I thought he was going to do it in between the legs. Oh, that would have been a beautiful attempt, huh? That would have a highlight real goal. Coach Joseph very happy with the offensive zone presence there. Walker reading the pood. Walker's draw. Hodgson left defense. Draper on the right defense. West Virginia taking a second here. Referee signals, and here we go. Walker tries to win it back. Reed trying to push it along. Kosinski picked off by Apoon. Sends it down for Reed to get. Reed couldn't get there. West Virginia pokes it free along the wall to the point. Hodgson went to step up. Offense tries to help him out. Ends up on his stick now. Hodgson fires. Loose. Reed shot. Oh. Kramer, I'm sorry. Walker tried to put that one in. Walker leaves it for Reed now. Circling, dancing through the middle, taken off of his stick. West Virginia goes the other way, and Reed's stick keeps it into the zone. Now Hodgson, carrying through the middle, fires it on net. Couple bodies get changes. Apud holding the pressure for the meantime. Kosinski leaves it forward to Noor. Dancing in. Apud picks it off. Chance for the Colonials the other way. He has Burn in stride. Hits off his stick. Burn skates it down now. Burn hit along the wall. Keeps his feet. Smith to the point. Macro Costas. Couldn't keep it alive. Now Krasinski the other way. Diving is Macro Costas. Shot attempt saved by Rutherford standing up. In the feet. To the point. Shot. Hits off bodies. Blocked by Kovac. It's Smith now. Smith chips it in. 
Hits off the back of the netting, icing. That's Cole. a big time save by Rutherford. Right in front of the net. It was, and Coach Joseph's not happy. as They say that uh, the netminder did come out of his crease to play the puck, and that's why he does not like the icing call. So defensively, we will go. It'll be Smith, Byrne, and Kovac with Nicholas and Macrocostas. 15.30 to go. Byrne wins it back to Macrocostas. Hard along the wall, out of the play it goes, almost towards the 19-21 sign. And five fresh men will enter. That was some of the weirdest puck bounces I've ever seen. I couldn't tell you where it went. I, I think it went almost towards the exit sign I'm over there. I'm still looking for it. <laughs> it's somewhere over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, the kids just grabbed it. Adamski to Logis. Tries to move it forward, blocked away. Mickey picks it up. Mickey chipping along the wall. Kramer in stride, tried to get him. Now West Virginia the other way, picking it up. As that one wow. goes five hole through traffic. And West Virginia. Ten to go. Sent in by the Mountaineers. Hodgson chasing it. Hits his man hard along the wall. Throws it around the net for Mickey. As he will work forward with it. To Kramer. Puck off sides as Mickey went before the puck. Macker Costas and Draper now enter defensively. Did you notice the speed of number three on West Virginia? Jones coming back on that. He did. It seems like West Virginia is really buying into their back checks. Oh, yeah. Adamski on the draw, wins it over to Kramer. West Virginia regains possession and moves forward. Mickey, I'm sorry, 28, uh, Justin Hickey with the goal. Hickey unassisted the total on that one. Mickey to the point, Draper shot through traffic, sails wide. Macrocostas sending it back in, Adamski. Looking to the middle, Kramer firing, shot off sticks into the netting as a West Virginia player goes flying into the net. It looks like an extra whack against Kramer, who uh, has some words for the Mountaineers. Looks like the extra talk's gonna be continuing here after the, uh, the whistles. Yeah, Kramer not afraid to use his body to make a play and do anything for that matter to try to get a goal. One of the leading point getters this year and last year as well. It'll be Reed's unit on. Reed wins it back. Macro Costas tried to keep it alive. Walker back to help. Two on two numbers. Shot sails over the head of Rutherford. Had to duck out of the way on that one. That was a laser. Absolute laser. Macro Costas putting a stick down. West Virginia circling. Shot blocked away. Is down. That's a penalty. That was an awkward fall by Garrett Walker. Macro Costas shot goes over the glove. A pood. Plays it forward. West Virginia touches a pood, and a Mountaineer gets tangled up. And to the box go the Mountaineers. As Walker uh, yet again on the receiving end of a, a awkward looking hit to say the least. I think it was, I, I just saw him go down at the corner of my eye. I think it was some type of maybe interference. We'll see here from the referee. So Caden Nor will take a seat. Oh yeah. Interference. So back to the power play we go. Mickey, Walker, Draper, Adamski, and Crank. Adamski stepping up. Throws it around to Mickey. Draper stepping in. Holding against the wall, Kramer tries to corral it. West Virginia ties it up along the wall. Mickey 
collecting it, moves it down low to Draper. Draper over to Walker, couldn't connect. Walker, circling. Good edge work from him, 27 and white. Throws it over to Roman Kramer. Kramer playing over to Adamski in the point. Firing off sticks, Draper, good look. Kramer again. Plays it down low to Mickey on the circle. Stick fail to Adamski, fires shot, sails off the padding of the netminder. Adamski at the point. Down low to Mickey at the circle. Firing through traffic, rebound loose. Walker couldn't put it home. Net comes off and we'll get a whistle. Great pressure here by the Colonials. You can tell they're goal hungry here. And once again, the netting comes up. I was just about to say that, yeah. <laughs> we should we should have started keeping tally of how many times this net's come off. Not only this game, but <laughs> this season oh, yeah. maybe perhaps. Quite a few and none of them really in favor of RMU. No. Mickey steps in, a minute 12 to go on the penalty. Mickey, perfect one back to Adamski. Adamski stepping. Gives to Walker, fires through traffic, blocked away. Draper gets taken down. It's slow to get up. Adamski to Walker once more. Firing, shot, and save. Draper tried to poke it in as the puck was loose. Referee whistles it dead. Walker with a really good look there. I thought that went in. I thought so, yeah. too. We, I wish we had a replay. I yeah, could, uh, that would be nice. Stop <laughs> the referees and be like, hey, let's take a look at this. But obviously, I don't think that's how that works for ACH, sadly. Not, not for us, not yet. Maybe one day. 58 seconds now to go on the penalty. Mickey stepping in. Another perfect win to Adamski. Throws it over to Kramer. Walking in, firing through traffic still. Loose, bouncing around, and it goes! And there we go. Garrett Walker puts it home on the power play. What a goal, his second power play goal of the season and third of the season in total. It's five to four. That's exactly what we were talking about earlier this game with those rebounds. We got a good shot on that, kept it down on the ice, and we were just there to clean up that rebound. Q, London, London Bridge. Bridge. <laughs> there it is. And it's a one goal game once again. Not sure the assist, but I have to assume a mixture of Adamski, Kramer, and Mickey, maybe even Draper in as well. Yeah as we momentarily stop, and now we're good to go. West Virginia wins the draw. Sending it forward is Koshinski. Pendling the walls, Nicholas. Walker credited with the goal. Nate Mickey with his fourth point of the night, a phenomenal night for 14. And Roman Kramer as well, his third point of the night. The usual suspects. <laughs> Macro Costas pushing it forward. Kovac lays the hit, burns into help. Kovac goes down. Mountaineers move forward. It's stuck away by Rutherford out of his crease. Still loose chance. Rutherford diving across. And for once, the netting helps out the Colonials. As Rutherford, what an effort to get over. The Colonials got to be um, aware here of getting this goal back and now having to tie the game up again. Can't be taking any um, foolish chances, to put it in those words. Burn tried to win it on his forehand to the point. Western, he keeps it alive. Shot patted away by Rutherford, diving over puck loose. Burn clears it away. Shot from the point, blocked away. Nice job by Kovac, and he will move forward. Kovac can't dance around two. Burn bodies away to keep it in. Kovac still battling for it. Goes to Smith, firing it towards the net. Five hole safe. Burn, bodied against the wall. Four Mountaineers against just one of him as the offense changes behind the play. Moving forward, Burn. Tried to finish his check. That shot sails over the head of Rutherford. Jones picking up for the Mountaineers, sending it down low. Logis gives it over to Reed. Chipping it off the wall. Apood was sitting in the middle, and here he goes. Alejandro Apood. Leaves it off from Macrocostas. Gets dragged down, That's and that will be called. Macro Cost is drawing one, and the Colonials back to the power play. This is exactly what they needed. They stayed, they stayed smart, didn't draw on anything, and now they're back on the power play. Got to capitalize here. 
just from tendencies. We know George likes to play a little physical, and it was a smart move on him not to retaliate, not to. He drew the penalty, he went down, but immediately got it and said, uh uh. That's where on you the get play. On the retaliation is where you always get called. Exactly. Two minutes on the board for the penalty. Mickey wins it back to Adamski, down low to Walker. One power play goal, about one for four, one for five, I believe? Uh, five. Yes. Mickey through the middle. Walker di diving down. Mickey in his skates, moves it back. Adamski, down low to Kramer. Kramer looking, firing, blocked away by his own man in Draper. West Virginia now moving forward. Trying to get a couple of fresh guys on. Kramer tries to stick it away. Adamski as well. Adamski will pick it up. And the other way we will go. Adamski into the zone. Looking, he's gonna circle around the net. Drops it off to Mickey. Looking, looking, tried to go back. And it's West Virginia with the head of steam. Adamski is back though. Clean play there. Perfect stick on stick action. Yeah, no call there. Adamski to Kramer. Moving forward, he has Mickey who enters the zone. Drop pass to Kramer. Kramer looking. He's gonna circle. To the top of the circle, Adamski firing, loose in front. West Virginia clears it out. Good looks from the Colonials with the Mountaineers' penalty kill. Has taken advantage of those loose rebounds. As Oh, that was a loose Aaron Pocket. Rutherford is back in his crease safely. Shot sails over the head. Draper moves it forward. Mickey collects. Mickey into the zone. Circling. Works his way in. Shot saved. Now Nate. that would Ooh. have been a highlight real goal. Nate, Mickey. Whew. He's had a ton of nice moves. Uh-oh. Too many men. What do we got? Uh, He's holding up six. Did we get too many men? Yep, too many men. Uh, yep. Someone stepped the, a little bit early, I guess. So Walker is out there. It looks like Kohlberg will serve. As the, that was a costly penalty here. That's exactly what we were just talking about. You got to capitalize on that penalty and not do something stupid here. Logis, Hodgson, Walker, and Reed. Sending it down low, Hodgson. Behind his net, shoveling it to Reed. Sends it all the way around the wall, or attempted to at least, but regains the puck and moves forward. Sending it into the zone. Walker with a step. He's going to get there. Fires it into the netting. Out it goes. Great hustle there. Walker has been very noticeable this game with his speed. He gets rewarded with a goal on the power play. And I got to say, overall, he's been one of my key impact players of tonight. Definitely a hustler, playmaker, oh, definitely. sharp shooter, sniper. <laughs> Every adjective in the book. Hybrid. I can say that. Yeah, penalty kill, power play. <laughs> penalty I mean, kill, power face play. Face off, winger. A, Look a, at that a, face off win. A jack of all trades. <laughs> Is Walker in the middle firing? That would have been away. nice. Whew. Reed tries to dance through. Out of the box from the Mountaineers. Hodgson picks it up. Three on two. Off sides oh, by a frog hair. Is Keith Reed. Oh, baby, that was close. <sighs> that had my heart racing a bit. <laughs> Draw comes outside, but for the Colonials, that's not a bad thing. No, it's on their half. It's on the West Virginia half of the ice. Exactly. Walker and Reed still out there. Draper, Macrocostas, defensively Macrocostas. One timers down. Oh baby, that almost went in. He's an absolute hammer of a shot. It is George Macrocostas? West Virginia. Moving forward with it, stepping up as Walker, chips it forward to Reed, Reed back checking. All the way back he'll go, killing off more of the clock, fires it over to Draper, and Draper will send it the length of the ice. Offense will change, Kramer Adamski step on. Under a minute to go on the penalty. West Virginia moving forward, outlet pass to Knorr. Knorr working his way in on his backhand to his forehand, shoveling and saved by Rutherford. The good read from Parker is he knew exactly where he was going. Uh, that was a great chance by the Mountaineers, but if you're the Colonials, you, you can't let that kind of rush happen, especially by one player. Yeah. 
45 seconds to go on the penalty for the bench miner. Adamski, perfect one back. Nicholas moving along the wall. Tied up. Nicholas against two Mountaineers. Adamski in to help, and he'll shovel it out. Out of the net comes Fotopoulos, leaving it off. West Virginia looking to set up. Under 30 seconds now. Moving up is Koshinski along the right wall. Tried to shovel around Nicholas. Logis playing it. Reed. I'm sorry, Adamski tried to push it forward. Adamski gets tied up with the man. Moving through the slot on the backhand. Circling back to the point. Jones was not there. All the way down it will go. And that should do it for the Colonial. Penalty kill, three seconds, two and one. And we are back to even strike. As icing called against the Mountaineers. RMU gets that much needed change into the offensive zone. With 7.43. It's getting tight here. It's going to get interesting real quick. Yeah. RMU knows exactly what they need to do. It'll be Rob Byrne. Bouncing puck. Moving it forward off Kovac. Lifting stick. Stepping up. Kept alive by Hodgson. Byrne. Wow. That was not offside. Mm -mm. Hodgson. I don't, the puck did not fully cross the blue. <laughs> I am not a fan of that one. Wow. The puck does come outside. Hodgson saying, yeah, okay, okay. Burn, bouncing puck, moving it forward. Burn gets taken down in the process. West Virginia's defense playing catch, now moving it forward over the heads of all Colonials, all the way down, right to the stick of Rutherford, who will leave it off for Hodgson. Circling, gives it over to Draper. Up the boards to Kovac. Sends it up, almost off the referee. Draper can't get it out. On the line, still bouncing. Smith gets tangled up. Byrne gets in and clears it forward. West Virginia collects with a man straight from the bench. Taken down, no call. Draper through center, pushing it along. Hodgson, forward, try to go to Byrne. Adamick moves it forward, that sitting there was Hodgson, gets in and just offsides yet again. That has been an absolute killer. <sighs> I mean, the Colonials here are just trying to get an offensive chance, get some pucks on that, and you gotta, you gotta do that onside first to be able to do that. So Reed, Walker, and Apu do get on the ice, though, as a second line. Looks to get going. Walker wins it forward. Reed tied up in the skates, moving forward still. Walker pushing it along. Reed hitting his man, colliding. Walker comes out with it, and he skates with it. Behind the net. Shovels in front, no one home. Moving forward to Jones. Into the zone, West Virginia. Pushing it down. Nicholas tying up his stick. Aaron Puck. Reed tries to hit. Walker taking away the backdoor pass. Moving along with it. Is Henry. Macro cost this laying the body. It's a flipping nice hip him. check. Walker forward to Reed. Reed with speed is going to enter the zone. Keith Reed to Alejandro Apoud. Apoud gets tangled up in the minutes. He gets taken down. Macro cost this levels the body. Straight off the bench. Dancing with it was Adamski as he tried to put it towards the net. To the point off of Logis' stick. He'll play it back to Macro Costas. And he'll fire it down as West Virginia, or the RMU players can chase. Logis steps it up, keeps it alive, throws it down to Adamski, just past his stick. Kramer was sitting there, though. Adamski leaves it off for Kramer once more to the point to Logis. Through traffic, blocked away, off of bodies, almost on a breakaway, off sides of the Mountaineers, though, fortunately. Hodgson, forward, off stick, trying to go for Kramer. He does corral and poke it into the zone. Mickey down to chase. Mickey pokes it forward. Sitting there was Kramer. Couldn't keep it in, though. Dancing around Hodgson. And down the other way comes Howcraft. Firing pass, diving down. Nice play from Blake Logis. Hodgson sends it around the wall. Straight off the bench is Rob Byrne. Byrne to Mickey. Through the middle, looking. Firing off bodies. Under five minutes to go. Mickey tied up. Gets taken down along with the Mountaineer. Byrne finishes his check. Draper along the point. 
moving forward. Cam Smith is back, though. Smith to Draper. Draper shovels it along, had Smith. It's diving down is Nicholas, as he now has to get back. Smith pokes it forward to Nicholas to burn. Forward had Kovac, couldn't collect on the pass. Rutherford out of his crease to stop it momentarily. Draper gets taken down. Burn looking, has Smith, plays it back to Burn. Burn gets hit in the process, shoveling it down. No icing called. Kovac behind the net, wrap around the temp, loose in front. He gets buried in front of the net. As no call there is Kovac, absolutely furious with that. I mean, what a chance, a miscommunication here by the Mountaineers and Kovac almost stuffs one around the corner. This is a beautiful chance for Tyler Kovac. Still looking for his first of the season. Coach Joseph elects to go with the Reed unit on this offensive zone draw. Reed stepping in, tries to win it back. Macrocost Walker try to tie him up. Three on two the other way. Low just getting down along with Macro Costas. Low just blocks, chance in front. Rutherford holds Macro Costas tied up with a West Virginia player. Rutherford with a shove as they're digging for that puck. And a no nonsense play from Parker Rutherford. There's Lodges again. I mean, he, he's stopping all these odd man rushes and block shots and everything. I mean, if we could do three stars of the game, I'd, I'd have to give him number two, maybe. That's, yeah, two, two? two. I don't know. Two? Probably two for the prevented chances, I guess. Yeah? Maybe Overall, Adamski, number one? That's, that's, I don't know. That's that's for an end-of-game call. Yeah. But Blake Logis has been phenomenal tonight. One shot sails wide of Rutherford to the point. Walters throws it down. Bouncing behind the net, Walker fighting for it. Plays it around, has Reed, and Reed will look to go up. He gets around one. Make it two. Shuck goes around three. Make it four. Dango leg. Oh, oh wow. Baby. Draper falling to the ice. Apood couldn't keep it alive. Reed gets it off the ice now, throwing it back into the Colonials. They do touch up. Apood will attack. As West Virginia poke it free, 3.09 to go. Logis to Kramer. Fires it through the middle to Apood. Alejandro Apood dancing. Gets around one, pokes it through the middle. Kramer with the skate holding. Dancing, back hit, shot, sails wide. Kramer again looking. Bodied against the Mountaineers. Adamski in to help. Adamski to the middle, low just shot, save. Wow. As that'll go all the way towards the middle of the ice, Logis moving it forward. Mountaineers too many men. As it'll get called. It'll get called. That was textbook too many men. I think I saw maybe the entire middle section of this crowd put their hand up for that too many men, us. <laughs> including us. <laughs> and it's to the box go the Mountaineers. This is exactly what the Colonial needs. Now, the question is, do they call the timeout and do they pull the goalie? Or is it too early? Let's try and get into the head of Coach Joseph here. I think it's too early. I think it's too early. And it's going to be too early. Yeah, you they're not going to pull him up. Power play goes. I, I say uh, since it's 2:39 on the clock and two minute penalty, I'm going to assume maybe a minute gone on the penalty is the, about the target time. And then Ruffy comes in. Yep. Ruffy comes out. <laughs> Adamski at the point, playing it down low to Walker, shoveling to Mickey. Past his stick, West Virginia has a chance to clear, and they do. Adamski does get a stick on it as he'll move forward now. Adamski to Mickey through the middle. Spinning to the top of the left circle. Looking. He throws it around the wall to Kramer. Minute 30 to go in the penalty. Bouncing puck. West Virginia picks it up and moves forward. Two men back for the Colonials, though. Adamski hitting along the wall. Picked up by Garrett Walker. Now the other way. Here we go. Garrett Walker. Entering the zone with speed. Looking, throws it along the wall. He gets hard, hard into the wall. Draper with a good reverse hit. To the point to Adamski, looking. 
A minute to go on the penalty. Rutherford at the hashes. Kramer looks with heavy pressure. Gets the hands up high. And the stick, Adamski steps up and keeps it in. Rutherford retreats, Adamski holding. Pushes it along to Draper. Through traffic, Mickey tried to corral. Approaching the minute 20 mark, Mickey looking. Rutherford still at the hashes. Sent along the wall all the way down. Rutherford's gonna come way out of his crease to play it. And he has Adamski. Adamski will corral and move forward. Backs it up to Cam Smith. Smith starting to skate it up. Gives it over to Logis. Up to Lapood. As that'll be sent all the way down. Rutherford goes climbing out of his crease to hold and give it to Logis. The Colonials need a whistle. Logis to Reed. Forward to Kovac. Plays it over to Apood. Apood shoveling it down. Out of the box comes Adamic. Five, er, six on five. In. Yeah, Rutherford's out of the crease. Firing it towards net. It's loose. Sent all the way down. And a much needed whistle. 23.7 seconds. And Coach Joseph will call the. Wait for it. Time out. Time out. There it is. Yeah, yeah. We knew it was coming. So the fresh six will come onto the ice. I wonder who is going to come out and who is going to be the target shooter. Yeah, I think in this type of situation, you got to draw up something. And you could go to the usual up top to Adamski. Maybe. Kramer, maybe? It, it's really a question of right now of who's going to take the draw and where they want this draw. My guess is Mickey on the draw Yeah. with Walker to the left, Draper to the right in front of the net, Kramer to Damsky up high, and then the sixth man looks to be Keith Reed, which maybe Blake Logis out here as well. I'm not entirely sure what they're planning on here. Looks like Reed will stay on. Maybe come to the bench. As this is going to be an eventful 24 seconds. Uh, to say the least. A lot in the balance for this Colonial squad. After the rough loss to Kent State last night, a much needed win. Bounce back. Reed on, Logis off, and the usual six will be out. And here we go. It'll be Mickey on the draw. Adamski lined up right behind him. Kramer on the point. Reed and Draper to the right. Walker to the left. One perfectly back to Kramer. Throws it over to Adamski. Adamski firing blocked. Adamski quick up. Gives it to Reed. Colonials offsides. Reed firing it over. Adamski with speed picking it up. Adamski throws it around the wall to Reed. Tried to throw it in front. Trying to fight for the pocket. Still bouncing around. Shot. It's oh, in! Roman Kramer shushes the bench. Roman Kramer. Oh my goodness! There's no way that just happened. Are you kidding me? <laughs> With four seconds left! Oh my! Roman Kramer! The Hugh, hero! Hugh London Bridge. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be here to believe it. Oh, I, man. I am so sorry if anyone heard that really loud with the volume, but you really have to be here to believe it. Wow. And then we're going to overtime. Roman Kramer. Historic. As his 14th of the season. Wow. Nick, I'm speechless. Kaden, I have not much to say either. I, there, there's been a smile on the face. Everyone here is still in is in awe. Everyone here is awestruck. There's not much to say other than that. Reed with the assist. Kramer somehow with the shot. Puts it home. And we're going to overtime. Oh. As Renegade plays. I'm going to have a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> As Nick, look. 
Let's see, is we, it is three on three if I'm not mistaken. My guess is we're gonna have Logis or Draper defensively with Adamski and Kramer to start things is off. Is it 10 minutes? Five. Five. I believe five. We haven't seen an overtime since last year against the University of Pittsburgh, which they fell to. These two teams did meet in overtime in Morgantown. West Virginia did win that one two to one. Rutherford is ready for this one. This is gonna be amazing. Five minute three on three overtime. Don't go anywhere yet. Oh, don't, you have to be don't here. You to turn, don't you turn off your screen. I'm expecting this view <laughs> count to just skyrocket. Everyone's gonna be like, we're going to overtime. You gotta get on. Yeah. Don't turn off your screen. However you're watching, don't turn it off. It'll be Adamski. It'll be Draper. And it'll be Kramer. The energy in here is electric. Electric. You could, you could feel it. Adamski. On the draw, wins it back to Draper. Plays it over to Kramer. Kramer moving it up with speed. Kramer looking through the slot, firing loose in wow. front, Take, taken away. Adamski and Kramer looking to connect again. Moving forward to the Mountaineers. It's Watson playing it out wide, coming down with speed, and poke check by Rutherford. It's a great poke check there. Along the boards, dancing through, picked up by Adamski, and he's gonna come with speed. Kramer to his right. Adamski looking. He's going to pull back now, work his way towards the blue line and reset. Adamski through center, backdoor pass to Kramer. Draper will switch with Logis. Kramer through the middle, dancing on his backhand, moving to his forehand, gets taken down, lost his edge. Back is Adamski though. RMU maintaining offensive zone pressure. Playing it smart here. Adamski, behind his net will hold. He's going to swap with Kramer, Kramer will carry. Kramer, getting around the boards, pushing it forward, I mean that's Reed. Reed, crossing, shot, and a glove save! My goodness, Kyle Fatopoulos flushing the leather. That was a great shot with a better save. Oh, the look, so close. But West Virginia's net miners standing tall. 3.48 to go. Kyle Fotopoulos. It'll be Reed, it'll be Mickey, and Logis. Reed on the draw, the left handed centerman. Mr. Baldwin. Two on two, numbers coming back in favor of the Colonials. Through the middle, shot saved by Rutherford, rebound, firing, trickling through, Lowe just picks it up. Fires it, stretch pass off of Reed's skate, and it'll be an icing against the Colonial. No, no icing. Whoa. Fatopoulos not happy, Reed quickly goes off for a change, Kramer stepping on, Lowe just holding the pressure. West Virginia coming down now, Mickey trying to provide the step. It's Kosinski behind the net. Playing catch over with his man, circling around the net, looking. Shot fired, saved by Rutherford. Reading Kosinski Scott on the on the dot. We'll get a whistle. 3:07 to go. You can hear the Parker cheers in here. Oh yes, the Parker chants started by the girls to the right of us. Yeah. <laughs> and a much deserved Parker chance. Yeah. A brick wall Parker. Brick. I, I started calling him Mini Jonathan Click. Yeah. Or Jonathan Quick Jr. Adamski, Draper, and Kramer. The unit back on. One, two, Draper. Tied up, gets taken down. Nothing called. Wrapping around. Saved by Rutherford. <laughs> Rutherford not going down without a fight. One way or another, this will end six to five. No change for either teams here. They're going to keep the same three on. Yeah, for RMU, this is the three they want. Yeah, for sure. Adamski. Puck bouncing off the draw, Draper pinning his man Kramer into help. He will try to collect, get held up a little bit through the slot, carrying. Trying to back now is Haven. Haven and Hickey. Hickey through the middle, looking, throws it down low. Draper poking it with a stick in the skates as they fight for it. Draper pokes it out to Adamski through the middle. No Colonials helm dancing in, shot and saved by Rutherford. Draper. Through the middle shot, attempt loose in front, and the net comes off, and Rutherford makes the stop in the process. Two, 
25 to go. I, I'm kind of reconsidering what I said about the, the three stars. I think you might, regardless how this game goes down, uh, Rutherford has kept him in it for sure. He really has. Goaltending is such a key for anything, and for both sides, both have been phenomenal, especially in the later half of these games. Kudos to the man in the pads. Adamski stepping in. Draw one by West Virginia. Kramer stepping, pokes it oh, here forward. We go. Here we go. It's a breakaway. Kramer in, fires, saved oh. by Fatopoulos. Oh, what a look for Roman Kramer. West Virginia now, even numbers. On the ice quickly comes Reed. Crossing pass of the Mountaineers. Shot attempt, fires over the net of Rutherford. Reed will pick it up and move forward. Keith Reed into the zone with speed. Holding back, looking. Circling once more through the slot. Looking for a chance, firing shot, and save by Fotopoulos. 151. Uh, their three on three is just, I mean, you're on the edge of your seat, your hands are sweating. Our hands are sweating. My hands are sweating. Mightily sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Offensive zone draw, Reed, Mickey, and Logis. Keith Reed wins it back to Logis. Logis circling. Moving down low on his backhand. Shovels along the wall. Reed wasn't down there. He will get back defensively as the Mountaineers look to break out. Circling with it is Bull Duke. Throws it forward to Kosinski. Reed laying down the stick through the middle. Pass low, just working his way down. Mickey playing defense. West Virginia looking. Mickey playing solid defense to the point. It's Bull Duke. Firing off sticks over the head of Rutherford. Loose wow. in front. Back to the point. Buduk fires and blockered away. Mickey pushing it forward. Mickey has a chance. Leaves it off for Reed. Reed pokes it forward. Mickey on a breakaway. Mickey in. Score! Nate Mickey, the hat trick. The hometown heroic. Nate Mickey, RMU wins. RMU wins in overtime. Nate Mickey hat trick. You got to be here to believe that. That oh. is insane. Q country roads. <laughs> West Virginia goes down. There was no quit left in this team. No quit. Oh, baby. Nate. Mickey, a thriller at the Clearview Arena. And it could have gone much smoother than that. Oh, man. What a night. What a night. What a game. You got to be proud of these guys. They fought through being down three goals. Three yeah. goals? Three yeah. goal lead. as Country Roads is playing in the background. But West Virginia was dreading against as they make their way off the ice. A well-fought game. Caden. The game of the year, to say the least. I have no words. What That's a game. Crazy. What a game. Good job. As everyone sings Country Roads, the serenade the Mountaineers yeah. as they exit the arena. Is a, what a game to say the least. And all There's, the fans are waving off the Mountaineers. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful scene. As a job well done. Nate Mickey. It all began with the late game heroics of Roman Kramer. What a game to commentate, Caden. <laughs> How about this for a first game, Mr. Pouts? I know, I know, yeah. But that's, uh, catch your breath a second here before we uh, wrap things up. But to just recap here, Adamski gets a goal in the opening seconds. Mickey, three goals, including the overtime heroic. Uh, Kramer with a goal, Garrett Walker on the power play. And then the opposing side, West Virginia with a phenomenal effort. I mean, Kyle Fotopoulos yeah. making that late game heroic save. It was a phenomenal save that I'm expecting to see on Acha show later. Overtime here for the Colonials, only five shots on net, and for West Virginia, they had eight. Eight shots, wow. Yeah. 
West Virginia had more shots with RMU with the quality Just chances. under a minute left. Literally just under wow. a minute. Just it in the nick of time. Oh, baby. It's Kramer had a chance in overtime. Mickey with the capitalize, though. And all right, let's 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 do it. Three stars of the game. Who you got? Okay. Number one, you got you got to give it to Rutherford. He, I mean, he kept RMU in this game. Um, most of those goals weren't his fault, but... I mean, especially during this overtime period, I mean, he, he made some huge saves that kept him in this. And I think I got to give him number one. Uh, number two, number two is pretty much a tie for me between Kramer and Adamski, but I'll, I'll go, I'll go, since he got the overtime, I'll go Kramer Adamski. Kramer, you, you mean Mickey with the overtime? Or Mickey, my yeah, bad. Mickey yeah, Mickey Adamski? Yeah, Mickey Adamski. Okay. So for mine, yeah. whew, that's tough. I, I wish I could give everyone a star, really. I mean, it, it was a huge you know team what? effort. You know what? Everyone gets a star. That was phenomenal. Everyone gets a star. Everyone gets a star. <laughs> Everyone gets one. There, there's no singling out here. No, this, you can't. This was a phenomenal Without, team effort. Yeah, there's, all of them were needed for it. But if I had to pick one, Nate Mickey, he got yeah. the star. Yeah. I mean, overtime heroics, hat trick, couldn't write the script any better. For sure. But for all of us here at Clearview Arena, a phenomenal CHMA game between West Virginia and RMU. From our camera girl, Miss Haley Whitaker, our statistician, Miss Alexia Martinez, Lance Axton, Alex Ganyan over to the left of me. Nick Peltz in his first color commentary game. What a game to do it. Yeah. I'm Katie McCrory saying so long from the Clearview Ice Arena. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. No podcast show this week, by the way, but so we'll see you next week for the next podcast show. Go RMU and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. See ya.